Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The cervical spine is the medical name for the neck. The cervical spine has seven vertebrae numbered C1 through C7 starting at the top and working its way down. Vertebrae C3 through C7 are known as typical vertebrae because they share common features, while C1 and C2 are known as atypical vertebrae. C1 and C2 are atypical vertebrae due to the presence of special bony structures designed to move and support the skull, while C3 through C7 are typical cervical vertebrae. C1 is known as the atlas. It does not have a spinous process. It articulates with the occipital condyles of the occiput, forming the occipital atlantal joint, and it connects the skull to the neck. It functions to bear the weight of the skull. The primary motions of the occipital atlantal joint are flexion and extension. C2 is known as the axis. It articulates superior with C1 by a unique bony structure called the dens or the andantoid process. The andantoid process projects superior from the vertebral body and articulates with the atlas. This permits pivoting motion and a greater range of motion in rotating the neck. C3 through C7 are known as typical cervical vertebrae. The primary motion of the upper portion of the lower cervical spine is rotation, C2 through C4. The primary motion of the lower cervical spine is lateral flexion or otherwise known as lateral bending. So again, C1 and C2 are known as atypical vertebrae. C1 is the atlas, C2 is the axis.